Now, welcome everybody back to the magnificent brand new flight simulator of X-Plane 12. You know, it was released just a few days ago and I've been milking it ever since with thousands of videos. You know, over the past, we've compared it a lot to the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and we pretty much all know well, who wins here. I mean, come on. Microsoft is just so great, so brilliant of a flight simulator that it's pretty hard to win. But everybody, there are some things that X-Plane just always has done better. One of which, for example, is everybody failures. All right, here we go. Let's actually take out. You know, I've actually never done this in the new X-Plane 12, but you know, X-Plane has always been the only flight simulator where this could happen. Wait for it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nothing to see. Oh, something to see indeed, everybody. We've just gone into a bird strike. Here we go. We've got a compressor stall fire thing going on here on our 737 engine. Now, let's talk about the fire animation. Looks quite all right, but they haven't really changed it ever since the update. You know, I would have expected, like, some cinematic... That would have been really cool. Like, cinematic graphics and stuff. But we don't really have that here. Not too important anyway, because we're going to put out the fire here anyway now you know just things like this you know failures in the menu where we can literally break apart the whole plane whatever you want to do like i mean look at the landing gear section there's so much things you could do from the tires being blown to the landing gear just not coming out or collapsing anything you would want to do all right i want to try something else here in the cessna citation x wait a second a second let's try to remove the wings here there is a rumor that the wing actually visually disappears Ah, ah! Yes! Okay, that is actually so cool. I've just removed the hell of left wing. And it shows! That is so nice to see. Look at this! That, wow, I'm actually quite blown with that. You know what? I wanna I wanna try this again, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, failures like this really show that a flight simulator is serious. After all, I mean, this is what you do in a flight simulator. You study emergency situations. It's what real pilots do in flight simulators, you know, to prepare. I mean, you know, there's not too much to prepare for when there's parts of the wing missing. Ha <laughs> ha! Lamau! Oh, you know what? Actually, this plane flies quite well now because we've only removed a small section. It doesn't show that visually, but here we go, everybody. Yeah! Ever the new flight center of X-Plane is officially quite dangerous. I quite like that. That is nice. Right! Can I still have this plane crash? Now, there's something else that X-Plane has that Microsoft doesn't really have, and you can configure it in the weather menu. See, the thing is, we now have snow in the flight simulator, and we can now officially add ice to runways. Yes, you know, like all these Russian aviation videos, we can make those runways a bit, um, slidey. Let's put it that way. Let's do that. <laughs> Snowy and icy max. <laughs> Let's try that. Airport temperature, a bit cold here in the midst of winter time. All right. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. By the way, we are right now at Alaska or in Alaska, I guess. I'm using the Payworth scenery of Yakutat Airport here from Northern Sky. One of the new scenery here for X-Plane 12. It does look quite nice, especially for $12. It's quite all right. What I love to see is how nicely reflective those runways are. And my God, that is a runway I wouldn't land on in real life. Luckily, we have the flight simulator to simulate uh, <clears throat> dying, probably. Right. All right, you know what? Let's just try this here. Just do it landing. All right now, I'm bored of one of the new jets. I do have to say here, with this payware scenery and everything going on, I think right now in this situation, graphically, this can definitely compete with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. I really, I like this. Even though I paid $12 just for this airport. So, yeah. All right, let's try to make it smooth. We, want, we don't want to die now. All right, come on. All right, nice landing. Let's try to not die, not do a Pegasus, because that's something that can easily happen once you have ice. Here we go. We are stopping. We're stopping. Barely. Barely. Yeah, we don't really have a lot of friction here to the ground, I can tell you that. But something we do have is very strong aversion to us on the Citation X. A plane that really doesn't struggle with, um, you know, stopping. Something that we do struggle with, though, is, um, well, taxiing properly. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. yes, everybody, the magnificent S7 Airlines here with the good old Tokyo Drift here in Russia. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, I like how the pilot activates reverse thrust here in this clip just to, to kind of conquer this. Because that's like the only way you're going to stop at all. You need your engines. Oh, jeez. What a situation this must be. Just sliding on ice. All right. Let me try to see how do the big boys cope. <laughs> all right. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, yeah. There's something that's new as well here. These good old animations. You know that you're in trouble. Anyway, that's not a very stable approach. Let's try to do this. Come on. Get a bit more power. Let's not die. Oh, goodness. 
All right, landing gear is already down. We are right now landing on this icy runway in a bit of a snow situation. All right, I mean, you know what? Let's try this right here. All right, come on. How does the big boy cope, indeed? All right. It's been quite smooth. It's now time to stop here. I'm going to try to do this. And you know what? Let me only use the real brakes. That's something I would really want to see here. How do the real brakes cope? I'm right now fully into the max brakes. Something you wouldn't even use in real life. Come on now. Full, look at this. We're barely stopping at all. That is so fun. On the icy runway in the A330. Now, something I still don't like is the uh, rain animation. I think that's supposed to be rain now for some reason. I've never seen a snow particle here. That is for sure. Yeah, that's, that's something I have to work on as well. And we're just totally overrun the runway. Look at this. Yes, very nice here on the A330. Now, something else that you can do, at least in the summer when it comes to dangerous runway situations, is of course, standing water. Everybody, have you guys ever heard of hydro planning and stuff? Yes, let's become a uh, boat, sort of. Yes. Got lots of standing water here. Very right runway. Mm-hmm. Which right now, as you can see, though, the plane is not really touching the runway very much, and we're not going to be stopping very much on this very wet runway, everybody. The flight simulator, indeed, is very dangerous. You know what? We're actually kind of stopping. Well, it's taken a lot longer than normally, but there we go on the very reflective wet runway as well. Normally, this would end otherwise. Great. All right, now on the Vance RV-12, I want to, I want to try some... Oh! Oh, yeah! See, I've now done this to make a bit of a fire here. We've got nice fire animations here. It's not really showing here properly, though. So, everybody, what have we learned today? You know, X-Plane is a great flight simulator for sure for studying failures, for testing yourself, testing your pilot abilities. So can, I, can I just fail the landing gear real quick? There you go. Uh, why won't that? Why won't the plane fall apart? Come on. Mm, okay, that's something they have to work on as well. Why is the actuator not collapsing at all? Uh huh. All right, this shouldn't happen. Normally, the plane should go belly mode now. Uh huh. I found a fault. Great. Wait a second. I think I can do as well. As Yes, now that is proper broken, but due to the icy runway, I think we can still actually try to take off. All right, here we go. The A330 is still working its way up there. Okay, you know what? This is actually working quite well. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, the absolute realism that were featured here, right? I mean, this is totally like it is in real life. Look at this. So yeah, guys, I don't know how many millions of dollars I've just broken in this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Wait, well, let's take off. I don't want... This flight plane is actually quite motivated. It's motivated. It's very much motivated. We're at 120. Wait, what? 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 Wait, wait. Okay. Yes, everybody. Look at the A330. That's <laughs> good one. Good video. Good night.